There has been a lot of enemies out there with a huge cast of characters, but no enemy can outdo My Hero Academia, which features a cast of like, I don't know, half of Japan. Have you seen this many characters before? Okay, the only other time was during Naruto's Ninja War, where like the entire European continent waged war against America, back when America was mostly white. Anyways, uh, due to My Hero Academia's like huge cast, I won't be able to include everyone, just Class A, Class B, some of League of Villains, uh, some other important characters. Anyone not noteworthy enough will not be on this list. I also won't be going in order of power, but rather in order of characters from when they first get shown, you know? So, we have our first character, All Might, and because he's American, he is instantly SS rank, but 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 he does have that whole lung injury thing, and he can't use off one all the time. You know, it's only like three hours per day. Pfft, everyone uses their quirks 24 hours per day. Deku, who somehow has the same quirk, uses it like. 24 hours a day and he lost to Bakugo. So this guy clearly does it's not doing really well You know, it's just kind of he's terrible bottom of the barrel stuff s rank next We got Goku Midoriya now. We are in the truly big leagues You don't need me to analyze much because with his quirk even though it'll cost him the bones in his arm He can unleash a devastating amount of air pressure damage by punching the air enough to tear through a fucking concrete building like paper. I even during the early parts of the series, it's a miracle he didn't accidentally massacre all his friends. Also from here, we can infer that one for all is a fucking airbending quirk, since it does more damage when it's punched through air than directly punching anything. And look at this, whenever he punches the air, it's stronger, it's an airbending quirk, he's the avatar, it makes sense. Furthermore, if Goku Midoriya so chooses, he can, uh, I don't know, uh, fucking massacre his entire school, except maybe Kirishima, cause we know Kirishima is harder than concrete, and Goku's airbending can mostly break concrete. Not humans though, and Kirishima is both human and concrete, but harder, so who knows. A rank, not bad. Next we got Ochako Urarara, who has the quirk of invoking zero gravity on her targets. Now this this clearly alludes to the possibility of her homeland being from space. It is a very strange quirk. Not to mention, we can see in this scene right here, she uses her quirk on on this ball, and for some reason, the ball kept going. Like yeah, okay, she disabled the gravitational pull of the object. But what about air resistance? There is still friction in the air stopping the ball from moving. The ball should stop, but for some reason. It goes into into space. She is clearly hiding something. Something, some secrets. Some alien secrets. Who knows? B rank, big. The man with serious anger management issues and a rocket jumping quirk. He is also a world class soldier player in TF2 with a professional killstreak rocket jumper and has created multiple wormholes through his voice alone. He has possibly like the lowest offensive power of class A. And next you'll say, you're retarded. Despite having an, ex an explosion quirk, he has done like literally zero burn damage throughout the series. You see, like, according to this chart here, you know, that I got from, from the creator, uh, the quirk has a negative 99% in burn and explosive damage, but he has like 300% damage against buildings. I mean, look at all the times in all, all these fights. Everyone comes out fucking unscathed, barely burned, not, not very exploded -y. No, No gore or anything, just a lot of, uh, a lot of knockback and, and scratches. But he is a pretty good rocket jumper. He, he can dodge a lot. Plus, his rocket jumping explosions for some reason does insane damage to buildings. Not humans though. Humans don't get don't get hurt by it. his quirk at all. Fucking trash. His specialty against buildings does make him strong against rock type heroes and Kirishima, proved by his victory against him. The only guy who actually got hurt by him, who is made of rock. So uh, yeah, not a good guy. He, he's pretty low. He's pretty crap. And he, he we gotta put him low due to his ironic inability to fucking kill. C rank. Thomas the Tank Engine is a very very fast boy who can do very fast kicks. He's only managed to kill 17 people this week by accidentally running into them. Sasuke has one of the arguably best quirk due to his family's genes while being plagued with a shitty family, of course. He is very much like our main character, Goku, in that he can instantly massacre his entire class with a flick of his emo hair, but is stopped by his unparalleled love for Bake. His attractive looks and Sharingan makes it difficult for other girls to stay dry, but thank god he has almost no interest in girls. Instead, prefer to stay emo, or it would have been weird. Also, since Sasuke was born a god, he has little to no need for training. All his enemies were lucky he didn't accidentally freeze them to death. Perhaps his zero kill count speaks of his incredible control of his quirk, particularly ice, of course. S class, he puts even adult villains to sleep. Koji Cola, uh, this guy, so uh, he can speak to animals or some shit. 
I, I, I don't get whenever someone has the uh, ability to speak to animals, it automatically means they control animals. It's not like you can, oh yeah, you can talk to animals, so cool. Oh, they're gonna listen to you? Or they're gonna offer you information without cost? You telling me just cause you can speak to them, they can't be deceptive? Hey, I can speak to humans, but it's not like I'm very comfortable, am I? Plus, these animals... You think, why the fuck would he listen to a human? This is a shit character with a lame ass quirk that doesn't make sense. He is less than filler. He might as well go kill himself. D rank. Maze Shoji, Octopus Man, the manifestation of Japan's favorite animal. His quirk, Octo Arms, is indeed very powerful. And him working out and getting strong certainly doesn't make his opponent's lives any easier. It's somewhat flexible giving him an extended field of view, regeneration abilities, hear more, he can speak 8 times at once, and punch 8 times at once, making him quite good on but, 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 his quirk octo arms, this, this clearly alludes to the fact that he is clearly part octopus, and Cola, he can't talk to animals, and octopus is an animal, according to what we know, if you talk to animal, you fucking control animal, Cola basically controls maze, so maze is lower, E rank. Frog girl, she's froggy and can walk on land and can walk on walls, has extremely MUSCULAR TONGUE Jumps really high and swims, she's close to fucking Aquaman levels in terms of combat So I don't really care how many weeps jack off to frog girl, she's going to D rank despite her MUSCULAR as fuck tongue Karate tail, he, uh, he has a pretty mech quirk, maybe even worse than cola But he makes it up with his incredible martial prowess, killing many people in one hit And his extremely MUSCULAR tail, apparently strong enough to throw his body around like damn. C rank. Next, the main character of the series, Giant Robot Guy! Ignoring that his opponents are mostly children, he had the potential of slaughtering the entire cast. And ending the series, he has great leadership skills, coordinating with his fellow robot friends, killing teenagers, and it was only by God's grace that somehow no one got killed by this fucking titan. His quirk, really f***ing slow. Brings him down, uh, brings him some real presence by making things ultra dramatic. If it weren't for this important need for drama, he would have killed everyone. Shame on the main characters for killing him. Shame on Deku for punching him. Cause if he didn't, our our main character, Giant Robot Guy, would would be able to fight against the villains. This school was really lucky to employ him. A rank. Mina Ashido. Mina-san is the Japanese translation for everyone, so her name is probably Every. A slightly un unpopular opinion about Every, but she is my favorite girl. Uh, sorry, Urarara and Frog Girl fans, but Every is way cute. I have come from the future to stop my past self from being so cringy. He must die. Oh shit, no, it's a time paradox! In my opinion. Anyways, uh, too bad she she belies her actual value with a lame-ass hero suit and pretty not impressive quirk. Similar to Bake, she has fucking 99% burn damage debuff and plus 300% building damage buff. And it's more like a movement quirk. It's similar to Bake, but shittier. C rank. I can't stop shining. I can't stop shining might seem to have a very boring quirk, but it's actually more than just a laser. See, it's a laser that also costs kinetic energy, cause you see this thing right here, it can also create kinetic energy, which most lasers, you know, lasers are just usually just heat and stuff, but this one pushes him back. But not only that, see in this scene, he doesn't even flinch when using his laser. His laser is strong enough to move his entire body, meanwhile here, he doesn't even, he doesn't move at all. This means he has an extraordinary amount of muscles in his legs, enough to like resist this amount of energy. Holy shit! I think he might have a second quirk. His laser, his incredibly muscular body parts, puts him at at least A rank. God bless I can't stop shining. Ejiro is a rock man. He can get really hard on command. He can get extra hard when the situation calls for it. He has a crush on Bake. And he loves it when Bake explodes his load all over him while he is hard. Don't pick on Ejiro, because Ejiro is a hard dude. B rank. Rick Sato. Rick has a, has a pretty unique quirk. Big lips. He accompanies this with his second quirk, big muscles. It might be related to his third quirk, big diabetic medicine bill. He's pretty lame, I have no idea how his big lips saved him from being massacred by the main character of the series, big robot guy, yet. But uh, D rank. Hinata Sero. Unlike all those losers, this guy has a potential career path as a sticky tape factory. He can sell his sticky tapes infinitely. But even though he didn't win, he did almost laid waste to Sasuke. Not only that, but after Sasuke used his giant ice jutsu, our man Hinata remains alive despite being the closest to this to the continent that Sasuke just spawned. Holy shit. Hinata is definitely growing up to be a successful hero slash sticky factory. A rank! Zero has some sound quirk. I don't get how it works. 
It, she, if she doesn't have an M, but what can she do? It, oh, maybe it's a powerful uh, hearing crook. Whatever, that's fucking lame. E rank. Fumegaki Tokoya. So wait, 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 wait. Wait a minute. Analyst, you. Enhance the image. Enhance. 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 Ah, oh yeah, okay. Oh, he's a fucking bird, which is an animal. He's basically Cola's bitch. Way to go, Fumikake, you loser. E rank. Minita. E rank. Mom, Yao Yo Rozu. Now, now, now I know what you're all thinking, but no, the age of consent is still 18, not 15. We can't perv on the fact that during the fight against Eraser, her chest was completely out in the open in the battlefield, that had uh, hidden cameras all over that was probably recorded and Goku was watching. Uh, well, but, similar to Hinata, if her hero career doesn't work out, she can be a factory too. B rank. Hand man. Now, even though he has a powerful quirk, Decay, you ain't seen nothing yet. See, he has shown, out of all the characters, he has shown the most growth in quirk strength. Even against our main character, Big Robot Guy. See, at the start of the series, he held Eraser's elbow and like his quirk was so shit that 10 seconds of skin contact did like nothing. But, but later in the series, he annihilated some guy within seconds. He's clearly been going to the gym. Give him another 3 months and he'll decay the entire planet in minutes. A rank cool guy. Eraser. Every every series has one, the cancelling ability. But not only that, but he has like tail guy's level of martial art prowess, probably more, cause he took out an entire dash con of villains through physical strength alone. This man knows how to fight. Plus, he's the only character who's learned magic! Because uh, how do I explain his bandages? This ain't how bandages act, this is how, how they work when you throw them and stuff, even if they're metallic or whatever that it's made of. It can't be some robot AI stuff. So for being insanely good at kung fu and being a wizard, coupled with an eraser quirk, ass rank. If you want more videos like this, I can do more stuff about maybe uh, ranking class B, you know, the uh, way cooler class, or some other lame genres like that, like Clover Field, whatever it's called, or, it's called, or maybe movies. I don't mind going to movies. So let me know what you guys want. I'm trying to do more videos now and actually get back into making videos. Enjoy. <laughs>